from Charleston High School. Double wide outs to the left, single wide out to the right. Back goes Everett, looks to his left, throws, and the pass is caught, and it's Drake, and Drake's heading for the end zone, and he is brought down very close to the end zone, and he's over for the score. Adam Drake. To Eastern Illinois University. Could be the last play. He's going to fire it high and deep into the end zone for Adam Drake, and he got it. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. On the last play of the game, Drake made a terrific catch in the back of the end zone for a 32-yard touchdown pass. I tell you, I've been watching Adam Drake make catches like that for, for quite some time, seeing him play at Charleston High School, and uh, he never ceases to amaze me. Adam Drake has been catching passes on a football field in Charleston for nearly a decade, and he says the last nine seasons have been just like a dream. That's how I feel all the time, honestly. I'm always constantly feel like I'm pinching myself, like, is this really happening? Um, but it is, and sometimes I gotta tell myself like it is happening, you know, I gotta be confident in myself and that I can do these things every week because sometimes I feel like it is a dream, but um, I'm just lucky enough to have this opportunity. Adam was a, a two-sport athlete, and played uh, tennis, did very well, uh, played uh, every facet of football here at Charleston High School, special teams, offense and defensively, and, and he was a gifted athlete, great body control, excellent hands, and a hard worker. Um, I knew that if he got the opportunity to play at the next level, he, uh, with his work ethic and uh, dedication, that he would be a star. And uh, we got to see that a little bit of, uh, of that as uh, when he was a freshman. Uh, didn't play a whole lot as a sophomore, and then uh, had that breakout, uh, uh, you know, career for most people as a junior, and then uh, picked right up this year. Isn't how I thought it was going to happen. I just lucky enough to happen that way. You know, it's been awesome to be able to play for my hometown and continue that on to Eastern. Simo was also talking to me. And it's funny, we were actually on, on our way there and there was an ice storm. So we had, my dad was flying us, so we had to turn around. And the next day, I just, I think my heart was already set on Eastern, kind of being from here and everything. I signed with Eastern, it was a great decision. It's pretty special, uh, you know, not only to, to perform at the level that he did at uh, Charleston High School, but to, to go to a college right here in the hometown and, and let his talent shine is, is pretty special. And, and you see that in the tailgate area with uh, the family and friends uh, uh, who, who know Adam's a great kid and the love and the support there from his family. Uh, we're, we're fortunate. We're fortunate as a community that he stayed here. Yeah, he's very fortunate they got this young man, and, and it's just a win-win situation all around. Oh, there's no cons, just pros. They're, they're a great support system. You know, my mom's ordered a million different t-shirts. You see them all out there. So they're, they're awesome. I, I can't say enough about them. Despite playing under three different head coaches in his college career, Drake has kept his eyes on the prize and kept working hard, just like he did at CHS. Adam's a hard worker. You know, he comes to work every day, give 110%, and he's probably one of the best guys I've been around that, you know, Come, he comes out with, like I said, a great attitude. You know, like I say, he works hard, and it's been a pleasure being around him as a as a receiver coach. Unselfish, certainly, and, and his work ethic uh, is uh, second to none. And uh, and he's a humble kid. Um, uh, and I think that goes back to his upbringing, uh, working with the family and the construction crew. Uh, he never had anything handed to him. He worked very hard for everything he got. And he was an exceptional player here, worked hard, uh, and did the same thing. Not only led, uh, but cared about others. And uh, he's one of those kids you just can't say enough great things about. I think he's been a leader, you know. You know, he showed it by the way he fell on the field. A lot of time, you know, when you think of a leader, you think of a guy that's very vocal. But he shows leadership by the way he go out and work on the practice field, how hard he work, and, and hopefully that, that's going to trigger down to the young guys. Yeah, that period where I was kind of lost myself, I guess, it, it really pushed me. You know, I, I think I needed that to get me to the next level where I am now. Um, it made me better as a player, and it really pushed me, you know, being second and third position. Um, to push myself harder and get better. Adam's a role model. Uh, uh, he is a, a figure that our, our kids know here in the community. Uh, he's, he's around our program. Uh, uh, you know, we, we've seen him at some lower class games, watching uh, some family members and friends, and, and he's around. The kids know who he is, and he, and he leads by great example. And uh, a lot of kids uh, uh, use him as a role model, and uh, it's great to see him not only perform well, uh, here at EIU at home, but to see how his statistics rank nationally and uh, the hard work that pays off for what he's done. And uh, uh, we can't say enough things, uh, great things about Adam and, and the success he's having. Out of the shotgun, Whitlow back to pass. They're blitzing him. He steps up, throws it over the middle. Wide open Drake at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Eastern Illinois. I'll be honest with you. I mean, you know, um, I, I watched Adam Drake play a year ago, and I watch him play this year. And uh, he's a heck of a receiver. Uh, you know, wherever you throw it, he makes the catch. He's tough, he's smart, 
He runs good. He runs exactly. The, he does exactly what you ask him to do. Uh, he's been just uh, somebody that I, I didn't really know that he would be able to play that well. It's not much you can improve on. You know, he's a guy that's you know going to do what you ask him to do. He's a great route runner. Get, he has great ball skills. And I know whenever we call a pass and it's going his direction, he's going to come up with the play. And he's shown it on film that he can make some of the toughest catches that some other kids, not only on this team, but the places I've been, won't come up with those catches. So he, he's probably got the best ball skills of any guys I've coached in my 15 plus year of coaching receivers. A couple of weeks ago, I think Tennessee State tried to put their best defensive guy, follow him around for us, you know, plays. But he's a guy, to me, it doesn't matter who's covering I think he got the attitude where if it's a single coverage, if it's a double cover, I'm gonna get open. And uh, we as a, a offensive staff with Coach Steven feel like that regardless who's guarding him or what coverage he's in, he's gonna find a way to get open and make a play for us, which he had been doing all year so far. I did a, a speed camp with Don Beebe um, in Chicago and that, you know, he taught me a lot of good running mechanics. I was only there for a day or, or for two days, so there's a lot of just short things that I could learn from him, but um, the coaches had a lot, of, a lot of, had us doing a lot of things here over the summer as well. So we were out there every day doing seven on sevens, and that really helped us a lot. You know, learning the new offense and and um, defining some of the routes that we learned in spring. Just watching him, and like I said, you know, he got great hands. His ball skill is unbelievable. And like I said, probably one of the best guys at receiver I've been around. As far as catching the ball, he run crisp routes, all his routes his own time, and you know, that's why he got he has a lot of catches right now because the quarterback got confidence in him, and. Uh, and so that's the reason why he's having a great year that he's having right now. So what does the future hold for this standout pass catcher? Yes, I think he got a chance. You know, he just got to get with the right team. And I think the thing that, that you know, he need to work on is, is his speed. You know, so many scouts and us as, as a college coach, you know, one of the things we look in is, is the speed, how fast the receivers are. But I think he got the all other intangible as far as ball skills, you know, routes running. The only thing that he really need to work on is his speed, which, you know, Jerry Rice was a 4'6", 4'7", kid, but, you know, you never know. It's just been, it really depends on who he ended up going to to get that opportunity to go to the next level. If I have an opportunity to go to the next level, I'm definitely going to pursue that and work as hard as I can to do that. And if it doesn't happen, you know, um, I'm thinking about going to PA school, so I'll probably be here at Eastern for another year, taking anatomy and some of those classes I'll need for that, if that's the case. He has great protection, throws it deep up the right side for Drake. He's got it. A great catch at the 35-yard line. A jump ball out there between Drake and Demontre Wade, and Adam Drake brought it down. Wade had great position. He couldn't have been in any better position than that uh, to make a defensive play, but Drake just went up and took it away from him, and how did he do that? Well, he's Adam Drake. That's what he does. Way, way better athlete than you would think. Yeah, he's got... The the best hands I think I've I've seen in a long time. Reporting for Panther Sports Talk, I'm Brad Kupiak.